All right, welcome back to the layout. This update's gonna focus on my dispatching station and how it operates. My layout right now is DC only, but this weekend I'm going to be adding a DCC system. But just to give you a quick overview on what my dispatching panel looks like, the layout is broken up into five interlockings and all the switches on the main lines are powered. This is my model board here which controls the basically where what direction the trains are going to be going. Right now all the LEDs are green and if I were to reverse the route the LED will turn red. So just to show you the first interlocking I have is Bishop Avenue SS63 which is actually located in Bridgeport, Connecticut. We have Fairfield Avenue SS59 on the other side of the layout, I have New Haven, SS75, I have Fair Street, SS78, and I also have the Lower Yard, SS57, which is in Bridgeport. So all these toggles represent switches. And right now they're in a normal root position. And since my layout is DC, it's I have blocks, which I can control the blocks. I have a track number one, which is a mainline track, westbound. My middle track is track two, which is an eastbound. And my inside track number four is also a mainline track. As, I, as you can see, I can switch from cab control A and C and B and D. And I switch to cab control right there. These are the actual blocks. Block 14, 15, 16, 17. And as you can see, the other track, mainline tracks are set up the same way. So taking a peek at the model board, that's the entire layout, with the exception of the the lower yard here, I have a separate panel which I'll show you shortly. But just say if I have a train in the lower yard and I want to come out here onto the main line. Right now I'll have to throw this switch to get it on the outside track. So this is in the lower yard. So I'll come over to the lower yard and hit 13 switch. LED turns red and also turns red right there. So now I can bring the train out of the lower yard onto the main line. But just say if I want to switch tracks, I want to switch from track 1 to 2. And I want to do it in New Haven. So I will go to SS75 and hit 12 switch. And it turns red. So now this train will come out of the yard. And this is track 3, by the way. We'll go on to the main. Hit this switch. Switch over to track 2 continue all the way around. All the way around the layout. But just say if I want to switch it from track 1 to 2 and then 2 to 4, I'll hit 42 switch in New Haven. And just say if I want to bring it in the other side of the yard, I would hit 43 switch. But 43 switches in Bishop Avenue. So as you can tell, I just rooted a train out of the lower yard, out of the west side of the lower yard, going onto the main, crossing over onto track four, and then coming into the east side of the yard. Now these numbers here 
four, five, all these numbers here represent the blocks. And they correspond to these right here. And they're all color coded. So if I throw a switch here, it's red here. And whatever switch I throw becomes red on the model board itself. So now I'm going to normal all these switches. And then I'm back to normal ops. All my switches are Pico Insel Frogs, and all my switch machines are the Pico switch, machi switch machines. I can hear them snapping. The throttles that I'm using are made by GML, which I'll show you here. This is a DC throttle, and these are my cabs set up. So eventually I'll have a DCC throttle. So I'll be able to control DCC trains as well. And what I'm installing around the layout are these panels here and they're re going to represent the four cabs that I have for my DC. So this is the dispatching panel. And I'll show you what it looks like inside. Quite a bit of wiring. Right. Now if you come over to my pant my yard here my lower yard this is the yard master's panel so if you're in charge of uh, the lower yard you're gonna be working this panel here now since my layout's gonna have catenary especially down in the lower yard I powered the switches otherwise it would be just hand thrown switches these toggles control the power on the tracks because it is DC right now and again I have five powered switches. LY stands for lower yard. I have five powered switches in the lower yard. And again, they're all labeled here. I just have the LEDs right here. And again, they turn red once they're thrown in the reverse route. I have normal and reverse routing already on this layout. And again, with this... Just a little bit of wiring there. Now, if, if you're working the lower yard and I have on a switch over to local power supply, you're not going to run on the GML throttles, you'll run on this throttle here, which controls the lower yard. And it'll also control the, um, the harbor scene. So, this weekend, I'm going to be installing power cab. And I already upgraded it with a smart booster. And pro cab. I do have a small fleet of DCC engines. So I figured I would try to maximize their running capabilities and get the most out of them. The cable, power shield, circuit breaker, and my panels. So once I get the DCC hooked up this weekend, I will put another update together. And after that, I'll get back to work on the harbor. 
so I will see you at the next update.